I uh, enlisted in December 16, 1948, and I went to Alabama for my basic training. And from there, I went to Fort Sam Houston, Texas. And from there, I went to uh, Tokyo, Japan, and spent 40 months. Very interesting because it was a whole different culture for me. And I was, I really enjoyed my time there. And when I was there, the uh, Korean War broke out. I think it was a Korean War. And uh, all of our men were pulled out of the headquarters for there. So that left us working 24 on, 24 off, 24 on, 24 off, till we got replacements. And then when I came home from there, uh, I was back in the States a few months, and uh, about, about a year or more. And then I went to uh, Heidelberg, Germany, and spent 40 months there. That was a that was a real good assignment. It had to be that plane crash, November fifth, nineteen fifty-one. We were only up in the air about twenty minutes. We crashed down into the northern part of North Carolina. We just missed a schoolhouse by a couple hundred yards. <laughs> I, I served on the Bunker Hill for three years. That was the aircraft carrier. And uh, we left, uh, I served on mostly in the Pacific time. And, uh, and uh, we went to all the islands in, in the Pacific. And they would tell you on there. And after that, we went to the we left Hawaii, we went down to the equator. When we crossed the equator, we got down to uh, Okinawa, you know, after after we crossed the equator, we had to go back up to Okinawa. That's where we got hit with three, uh, two airplanes, two Japanese suicide planes. And uh, that's where I almost left this world. I was in bad shape. I was. Uh, I actually swallowed a lot of smoke, you know, and I, uh, I thought I was going to die there. Well, I guess I made it. I came in the Army in 1964 and left in 1967. I was in the Army in Aberdeen Proving Grounds and the uh, first uh, infantry armor unit, first army armor. On behalf of everyone at St. Anne Home, I'd like to thank the men and women who have served and continue to serve our country in the armed forces. We all wish them a wonderful Veterans Day.